You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host, and I have a familiar face to Greater Brockton. I have Bishop Tony Branch. Good Welcome. To, good to see you. What we're talking about, Tony, now yes. is um, the diversity, the tapestry that is the city of Brockton. Right. Okay. Um, my favorite thing about growing up here my whole entire life, only going away for a couple of years, mm. is the fact that there are, there are all sorts of peoples, all sorts of neighborhoods, all sorts of people that get along together. Absolutely. And it's not... It's not boring by any stretch of the imagination. Correct. Okay, everybody wants the same things. People want a, a, a good house, a good school, a safe community, um, a nice place to live from whatever country they came. If you think of all of our ancestors that came here, my dad came here from Havana, Cuba. Mm -hmm. Okay, my grandparents came from Eastern Europe. They went to Cuba because they couldn't come here back in the day. Okay, but this is just a magnet. If you think about the history of Brockton, Lithuanian, Irish, African-American, Jewish, you name it, Italian, right. and now it's Cape Verdean and Haitian mm -hmm. and Brazilian and Portuguese. Right. Um, you, uh, uh, Mayor Carpenter put back into effect the Brockton Diversity Commission. Correct. Okay. Tell us about it, like the overall mission, what you guys are trying to do, the membership, right. and, uh, you know, because you hear about all the division in this country nationally, mm. I don't think it's that divided on this local level in this city of Champions. Right. And, and I'm glad to talk about that. So it, like you said, the Diversity Commission uh, is a mayoral appointed commission confirmed by uh, the city council. It is a 11 member commission. Seven of the commissioners are appointed by the ward four or at large. I would be remiss in not identifying uh, the commissioners. You, we have Adriano Cabral, Ed Miller, Ed Downey, uh, Deidre, De, excuse me, Deidre Smith, Maria DeCanto, Jacob Tagger, Pledge Marcel, Janet Trask, and Brenda Perez. And I also give, of course, a shout out to Linnell Silva, who recently resigned. So these are individuals that have volunteered their time to be on a commission that is basically responsible for issues of equality and equal access in the city of Brockton. What people don't know is that the power extends to private organizations. Uh, so if people have an issue with respect to discrimination, equal access, uh, something that they feel may be really, really inappropriate, um, they can come before the commission at, at any time. Uh, one of the other things about it is, is that uh, our responsibility on, in February is to give a report to both the mayor and the city council with respect to the state of the city, and that's something that we look forward in, in doing. So you'll do that at, would you do that at, at a council meeting? It would be at a council meeting, um, according to the ordinance. Um, there's something that, you know, I would defer to uh, President Cruz on how that's done. This, this would be my first time, but we are, we are preparing for that now. Got a new president. I don't know if you oh, see, I, saw in the paper, Councilor Sullivan was oh my uh, God. elected in a caucus this week. Oh, I didn't know that. It'll be confirmed next week. Okay. Um, and the Diversity Commission... Um, you know, uh, Bob, I think it's the third time around yep. for a council oh, president, okay. so uh, he'll he'll be he'll be doing that. But um, I, I I know you guys meet on a certain day every we month. We do. So we're meeting every um, every third. We're meeting the first Thursday of every month. We had met more frequent in the startup of the, the commission in 2016 because we're working on some important issues around both the Brockton School Department, Brockton Public Schools, as well as the Police Department. Uh, but n now we are set to meet in GAR, first Thursday of each month, and uh, that's our set schedule for 2017. And those meetings are open to the public. Absolutely. Um, you want the public participation, and then as a matter of fact, you have had public participation a lot of, we've had, we have. so far. Yes, okay? we have. You've yep. invited different people, and I know the superintendent of schools was at one of your meetings, I believe? She, uh, she wasn't, but she is invited because okay. we've made some, okay. as you probably are aware, it's gotten a lot of media coverage. We've made some findings with respect uh, to the Brockton Public Schools um, in terms of employment. Um, so we are inviting her to come at one of our meetings this year just to discuss our findings and look at next steps. And, you know, Brockton Public, and one of the things, because people have given me a lot of fat feedback, Brockton Public Schools is an exceptional, an exceptional organization. Uh, but we believe, and we believe that uh, statistics uh, uh, will prove, has proved out that there definitely needs to do a better job in some of the employment issues. So uh, we look forward to working with the superintendent. And I think police, you, you mentioned police. So when we, uh, yes, yes. So the, the second piece of this is that we are really looking at in terms of the superior officers uh, ranking of the Brockton uh, Police Department. Our concern is, is that uh, in 
2016, and I think people really forget that, we have only one acting sergeant of color, and that's a sergeant, Brenda Perez, who just so happens also to be a commissioner. That's a bit un unusual, so we're looking to lo really look at uh, how we can make some changes in that area. And a, a part of that is probably to look at our city ordinance um, and also how we uh, select superior officers in the city. And if you look at uh, the police department, within the last couple of years, the department itself has become more diverse. It most certainly You're talking has. about the, the, the admin. Right. We're talking, we, we find that, and again, this is nothing new. The United States Department of Justice uh, has also given out a report on this. We find it very important that there be diversity in the police ranks, but also in the supervisory ranks that are supervising and training the police officers that are on the beat. Uh, so this is real work, and it's work that would be rewarding in the city like Brockton. The other thing too is one of the things um, in talking to citizens of the city is that Brockton, let me be absolutely clear, is not a racist city. I think that when people hear diversity, they say, oh my God, what are we doing? It's, it's about hiring. So it really isn't. It's really about having a city uh, that respects its diversity and that make to, to make sure that everybody is welcome in every aspect, both public and private. I am glad to be a Brocktonian. I'm glad to be uh, a part of this citizenry here. So uh, we'll see what work needs to be done. What are you looking to in the year ahead? Those are two big issues to talk about. Any, any, anything else with events or discussions or forums or anything so, like that that you think the Diversity Commission might do? We have about two minutes okay, left. Okay, so very quickly. So we are going to be working on holding public events where people we can get feedback from the public. But I'm going to be, I've been very clear in, um, in other media events that we need to do a better job, and I see that as our role, in marketing the best of Brockton. What I've said to our, my fellow citizens, every day if you can, or at least once a week, say something positive about this city. I think so much is said that is negative. Um, I think that that's a new beginning for people to recognize the goodness of this city so we can have people move in here and make sure people are not leaving. Exactly. The best of Brockton. Well, you came to the right place because that's <laughs> what we try to do. We're not your traditional media where I think we're the good news about Brockton. Absolutely. Okay? And Absolutely. if you look at the shows that are on our channel, they're very diverse. Uh, we're ready to do more. I know. Okay. So um, any, any final thoughts you want to tell the viewers about Diversity Commission before we sign off with this segment? We define diversity as equality for everyone, everyone in this city. If you have an issue, feel free to call us at 508 562 4688 or even email us at Brockton Diversity Commission at Gmail. Dot com. Feel free to contact your commissioners. Many of you know your commissioners. We welcome all, um, all issues, and we also welcome all recommendations for people who are doing a great job around diversity. Again, this shouldn't all be negative. There's some positive things happening in this city. Well, it sounds like you've got a good group of people there, and Absolutely we'll help do. you out. Come back and give us updates, and we'll, we'll help you publicize whatever you need. Mark, thank you for having us today. Thank you. Pleasure. Uh, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.